I'm inside and I saw Scooby Doo, Where Are You? Season 2, Episode 2, The Mystery Mask Mix Up. It is produced by Hannah and Barbara, and if you haven't seen this episode, I will spoil it for you. Daphne gets a mask, a pretty mask from this festival, and then with this mask comes a bunch of people trying to steal it. And I'm just thinking, yo, you can get your own mask. Um, Daphne got the one from where she got it. Maybe there's more masks like it where she was at. But no, we gotta steal Daphne. We literally had to kidnap Daphne. Oh my goodness. So this episode goes pretty hard in that regard because I don't think I've ever seen a Scooby-Doo movie or episode where Daphne gets yoinked just for having a mask. Of course I do like how we have the Scooby-Doo gang trying to figure out what the heck's going on with this fun business that we got over here. Also Fred is like, oh we got a clue. He's the big clue, big brainer in this episode. It seems like Velma in this episode is just kind of content to answering all the questions that Scooby and Shaggy have. And it's like really fun obvious questions too, because it's like, oh, what's that over there? Well, that's, that's a door. <laughs> I'm like, okay, good job, Velma. I do like the part where Scooby and Shaggy are running away from that guy, and I, I like that scene. There's a lot of this in this episode, as there are other Scooby-Doo episodes, but what makes this one different is that we're looking for Daphne, and she's kidnapped, and we gotta find a, a way to find Daphne without alerting the monster. And it looks like the monster's here, and he's chasing Scooby and Shaggy around. Wow, they should have been a lot quieter if they didn't want to get caught. I do like how eventually we find Daphne. This episode's pacing is very fast. Like, I, <laughs> I was watching this, I'm like, okay, so Daphne's got the mask. Oh, now there's a bunch of people following her. Oh, now she's being kidnapped. And this all happens within like 20 minutes. I'm like, why is this happening? Oh my goodness gracious. Well, I like this Scooby-Doo episode. I really like the animation of the monsters, especially that green guy. I like that green guy a lot. I also was noticing his animation's like really smooth. Like they put a lot of effort into his animation. And then after I noticed his animation was good, I noticed that the Scooby-Doo animation was good and there wasn't like any coloring outside of the lines that I noticed. There was a lot of good coloring, good animation, and I'm like, okay, I can definitely see what the Scooby-Doo uh, team is doing. They're putting more effort into Scooby-Doo, which I like. I like the increased efforts. I also like the story. It's definitely take, uh, doing a step up from any other Scooby-Doo story that I've seen. So if you know any of, uh, if you know of any Scooby-Doo stories, that involve kidnapping or something worse, let me know in the comments below. I gotta give this episode a solid 6.6 out of 10. If you like this review, watch another one. YouTube really likes that. If you want a fast track of movie review, you can do that for $20 redinos at patreon.com slash ASU presents. And if you like to help support daily grindiness of all them daily movie reviews, go to the sleep tree find the way you can help support the daily grind of all them daily movie reviews. So go here. And until next time, until I'll see you later. My side, we talk to make a bit.